hopefully. All right, moving on to our next topic at hand. Give me one second here. Uh, there we go. And voila. All right, so this is off of um, news.urken.com. Um, and it is German leadership looks to promote esports as sports. Uh, this is written by uh, Ryan Gerardo. I'm pretty sure I'm mispronouncing on that last part, but uh, here we go. There's acceptance in the air as Angela Markets Leadership Coalition seems to agree on esports growth into the mainstream competition. The Social Democratic Party (SPD) is oh I like that I like it's SPD. Um, no, if you're a fighting game fan, then you know what that is. Uh, it's likely to join with the union parties to create government coalition. And one of their points of agreement and the promotion of esports with potential Olympic ambitions. Negotiations are expected to close today and are expected to state that the new government will support local clubs and esports efforts. The move would also be expected to simplify the visa process for competitors attending German events along with other benefits to not only the players but also the industry as a whole. And the reason why I want to bring this up because there has been rumblings as far as like trying to bring video games into esports. Trying to trying to bring it into um, the Olympics is what I've also heard as well. We're at a point when it comes to competitive game uh, fighting games or just in games in general that not too recently ago we had Overwatch League launch with about 10 million viewerships um, at, a, at, a, at the peak of its level and was more than a uh, than a football game on Thursday on Thursday Night Football and. Uh, Again, it again begs the question again as as time goes on and as people are starting to wanting to watch more competitive video games rather than real sports. Do you think that it is time to reconsider uh, esports, a a sport or part of the Olympics or what have you? Well, I think it, I think it absolutely needs to be defined as a sport. Um, I think uh, you know you look at the term sport; it literally is about competition. It's 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 not necessarily about athletics. It's about competition. I don't want it at the Olympics because the Olympics are about athleticism, not. And, I'm, and as much as I love competitive esports, like don't get me wrong, adore fucking competitive esports. I do not think that in any way, shape, or form is an esport athletic. I do think that you need to be in shape. I think that that's important. Mm -hmm. um, if you are in shape, your mind works a little bit better. But I don't. I just don't consider esports e to be athletic. And to me, that's what Olympics is. Now, when we're talking about should we be considering esports a sport? Absolutely, hundred percent. Like, like hundred <laughs> percent. So, so yeah, I. For me, like, I've always went back and forth on this issue. Like, I've always been, like, on the side of, like, yes, of course, esports should be a sport. Why sh why shouldn't it be? Like, the amount of effort that players have to go through to compete, and not just in fighting games, but we're talking about, like, in uh, in RT uh, in mobile games. Um, you know, you hear about these teams who uh, basically have a um, a house, basically, of them just, com just training the entire three, four months before they go out to a big major. Like for Dota 2, like for uh, League of Legends, um, you have players traveling across the world like players. They're being signed up for with sponsorships. You're seeing uh, investments from com yeah, from from other sports uh, companies, uh, you know, that are investing in esports. They see exactly what could potentially what it could be, and what it what it, it's it's uh, uh, potentially could be uh, exploding into a. Uh, and a new era of esports. So, is it something that that will blossom to something that's going to be huge? I think it will. Um, do I think, by definition, it should be considered a sport? You know, I, the, the old man says no, but the 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 but the, the new generation of of gamers and the new generation of entertainment says yes. It's kind of weird. It's kind of I feel like it's like. It depends on, on what you see as a sport versus what you don't. Um, and are, some people argue, like, you know, poker was on ESPN. Um, chess was, you know, is considered, you know, a sport. And so, like... I, 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 I personally I, I absolutely consider poker and chess to be sports. Mm -hmm. I sure as hell don't want to see either of those at the Olympics. Yeah, it's... 
it's it's it's, it's gonna be an interesting year. It's gonna be interesting years as far as like from here on out. Let's say it wasn't already, but like. Uh, just to bring something up, also if you're watching this podcast late. I'm going to reference something in the chat again. Uh, so apparently uh, Mighty Sandwich says that there's a term called cyber athlete. Which <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> it's really dumb. Uh, it's really stupid. That's almost a, uh, uh, Valer, what was your favorite uh, new term for, uh, <laughs> uh, for that game we were playing? Uh, what was it? Uh, it was a rogue something rogue. I, I'll, I'll say I this, better, but I'll, I'll say this. I have not heard of cyber athlete in eons <laughs> that was that was brought up because what was it it was like early on in the early quake days where they were bringing that to uh to the quake con and like it, they were considering them as like cyber athletes and i was like oh my god that was wow you brought me back <laughs> I mean, cyber athlete is oof, i mean oof. you could get, maybe consider yourself a cyber athlete if you're like competing in like we fit maybe <laughs> yeah um, um no I, I mean it's it's such a weird like concept to i think a lot of people like i remember back when um uh sorry I'm just chat is cr- <laughs> killing me right now um yeah yeah chat anyway, does that uh, sometimes <laughs> um uh sorry i'm stuttering over here um Roguevania, that's what it was. Roguevania, uh, that was Roguevania. Gotcha. Thank you, Valer. Gotcha. Uh, yeah, Roguevania is just as dumb as Cyber F. But uh, what was I going to say? <sighs> Damn it. Olympics, esports. Uh... No, I know that's the topic we're talking about, but you had said something and then I got distracted and I can't remember what to say. I think, I think at the end of the day, when it comes to. Um... Oh, that's what it was. That's right. Okay. Um. I remember when the first time esports was shown on ESPN, mm-hmm. and there are guys that that basically their entire show on ESPN is to talk about what happened throughout the week on sports, mm-hmm. um, and their reaction to this being a thing was hysterical to me, because as yes, they're the jocks that make fun of the nerd, and that's kind of annoying and shitty. Um, they also didn't understand it. They didn't understand why it had gotten such high ratings, why so many people were end up watch ended up watching it, mm-hmm. whereas regular sports people weren't watching as much. They were thoroughly confused and scared, and it was so goddamn funny to me. Yeah. Um. And so, like that, and but that reaction also showed me that it's hard. It's going to be hard to convince. Football fans, baseball fans, basketball fans, hockey, soccer, tennis, golf, that playing a competitive game is a sport. Yeah. That it doesn't have to be athletic. Mm-hmm. Uh, some guys, however, which I have heard, some older guys who are on ESPN were like, well, do you consider uh, poker a sport? Does it, does, it, does it deserve to be on this channel? Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't think about that. Yeah, of course you didn't think about that because you think <laughs> it's a video game. It's for kids. That's yeah, your immediate yeah, thought, yeah. and you're being ignorant. So, and I think, and I think the turning point for that even came even uh, three, four years ago, the Evo, um, where uh, there were highlights that were brought from Evo onto ESPN, and they were being covered. And uh, it was like the, one of the, the most infamous was um, a, a Guilty Gear player was playing um was playing against ogawa one of like the best go to gear players in japan at evo and he had thought he'd won the 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 match the the round and he stood up he was celebrating and then realized that was another round of play so then the minute he realized that ogawa took advantage killed him and then you know won he celebrated and he was like he couldn't get to his stick in time to 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 uh to fight so like since then, since that very moment, ESPN has been uh, finely tuned on esports. They have their own esports section now on ESPN, as well as a podcast um, about esports. So they are finally realizing like this is more than just a hobby that everybody does. This is becoming much more of a professional thing. Uh, oh yeah, when when fucking uh, Overwatch League gets more viewers than any game during the the NFL playoffs, did, that's that's huge. That speaks. That speaks numbers. Did you see? Did you see the numbers? Uh, actually, I'll talk about it in the next segment. 
never mind. <laughs> yes, yeah, save it. Save it uh, for the Overwatch Minute. What will happen in about three, two, one? All right, there we go. <laughs> All right, guys. And then let me get this set up real quickly. Oh, actually, before that, uh, give me one. 